Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. Are you sure about that? It's a good place. Here we are in the middle of it, right up on the mountain. If this son of a bitch wants to bitch about his cows over here and shoot at me, well, it's our country. All right. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's Jay. I'm back again. Today we're going to be talking about assault packs, uh, butt packs, just way to carry a uh, small, I don't know, whatever you want to say, 24-hour, a day's worth of stuff. Let's say that. Uh, what should go in them and stuff like that. Um, if you've been coming around, been watching my videos, if you like this one, give me a like, give me a share, give me a subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, let's hop into it. So assault packs for a gorilla or Minuteman, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We're not going to get too much into the names here. What is the purpose? Well, number one, I think a gorilla. Uh, I'm a gorilla. Have... Murder yourselves. <laughs> uh, or Minuteman. We're just going to use gorilla for this video, but Minuteman is a synonym. Okay. Um, you should have a ruck first. Okay. If you don't have an assault pack, I don't think you should go buy one. I think you should go get a ruck. Um, a ruck is far more useful in my opinion. I see gorillas living out of their rucks far more, uh, often than I see them getting resupplied and being able to use the salt packs. So I'll just leave that there. If you hear a vehicle driving around in the background, forgive me. Uh, I apologize. Okay. Assault packs. Um, you got a couple options. Uh, two of the best options, in my opinion, for like a 24 hours worth of gear. Number one is an assault pack. Uh, this one here is a Blackhawk cheap early G-Watt assault pack I got off eBay. It is a good pack. I mean, you're going to carry a lot of stuff in it. Uh, this is one way to do it. This is good for like a chest rig, um, over a plate carrier, something like that. Uh, the other way to do it is having an LBE. This kind of combines the chest rig and the assault pack. Now, are you going to fit everything you need in that buck pack? Everything that could go in here? No. But you could also put a, uh, you know, a rather large hydration carrier on the back and put stuff in here, too. So something to think about. And I have all these other pouches also. So an OBE is always a good alternative to a uh, assault pack. Um, another option that gives you is the ability to more keep your gear the same if you're running an lbe you could run the butt pack and maybe some type of light hydration carrier on the back and then with all the pouches on here i have the ability you to you know carry 24 hours worth of gear and i could still put a ruck on over that now, is it going to be the most comfortable uh having this dang butt pack on the back weighed down with a ruck no but i can do it that's something i can't do with this so that's just something to consider all right, let's get into some of the components. Um, number one, like in all my videos I've talked about, mission essential gear is always first. What do you need to complete the mission? Okay, and when we're talking about an assault pack, the mission is most likely going to be something um, relatively, that is anticipated to be relatively quick. We're not going to be staying out there for a long time. Hopefully not. Um, you should be prepared to stay out there for a little bit longer than you expect, but hopefully you're not. So, an assault pack should be for around 24 hours. Uh, all these packs you see out there, they're saying the three-day packs. They're not three-day packs. For be around 24 hours, it is, let's just say, an assault. Uh, you're going to go hit some objective, get out, whatever. Maybe it's a swarming attack. You should look into that. Look into guerrilla tactics, not just your typical U.S. tactics. Swarming tactics. Let's say you got three or four guys or three or four three or four man teams and um, one of them fixed a uh, enemy force and the other three or four teams have assault packs. They're going to get to wherever the enemy's fixed within a short radius and attack whatever the culmination of that attack is and exit. And that'll be it. So what do you need for something like that? That was a ramble. I apologize. Hopefully you're still here. Um, well, let's dive into it. Number one, you need water. Um, I think 
A Camelback is perfect for an assault pack. And you should have one in there for sure. Uh, you can also put a Camelback, you know, on the back of your, your web gear. This here is a um, uh, Eagle Industries. Uh, you find these all over the place, all types of different colors. But yeah, three liters of water. That is the minimum, in my opinion. Um, you should also have water on your kit. I always have a liter on me. No matter what, plate carrier, chest rig, LBE, I usually got two liters of water on me. I always have a liter of water on me. So with the assault pack, I have four liters of water on my body. After that, some type of food. Now, whatever this looks like for you is whatever it looks like for you. I'm going to show you what I have. Let me take the gloves off. Let me take the gloves off. Don't need them right now. Let me take them off. Also, I hope you love my uh, hay bale table. Um, can I get a like for the hay bale table? You're also being held up by hay right now. Been doing hay lately. But yeah, whatever food looks like for you. Now, like I said, 24 hours. Do you need to eat in 24 hours? No. What if you're out there a little longer? Well, either way, you're going to want to eat in 24 hours, especially if you're doing some extraneous shit and what was supposed to be a quick 30 minutes on the objective mission turns into something that takes 24 hours. Well, you're going to be expending thousands of calories, I would assume. So you're going to need to eat. Um, I don't necessarily like MREs, except for one option, and that is these. The first strike rations. This is a legit day's worth of food. Uh, anybody who's had these first strike rations will attest to that. This is a legit um, day's worth of food. One MRE is not enough for a day. Um, field trip MRE sucks. Okay, get your first strike rations. So some type of 24 hours worth of food. Here I have um, this with some type of peak refuel meal. Peak refuel is what I prefer. You can use Mountain House. Uh, peak refuel has a little bit more calories. But peak refuel and some of these snacks out of here. So that would be equivalent to about the same size as this well over 3400 calories and this is enough snacks for three days worth i just took this out of my ruck i have this and three peak refuel meals and that is over three uh 3300 calories for three days i could break that down in another video uh, i'll probably do that closer to my hunting trip i'm going out to call back to colorado to do some elk hunting so yeah food's important um you could just bring snacks and stuff but have some food um with the only benefit to MREs is you don't have to bring something like this to heat it up. If you're bringing peak refuel or something, you're going to have to heat it up. It's freeze-dried. you got to heat it up. This is a Tokes titanium pot. Um, I actually have some other snacks in here. These are good options for snacks. I'll come show this. So what I have here is a honey stinger and a little almond butter um, packet. This right here is, all these right here is, what is this, 350 calories right there. So, just something to think about. And I shoved it in here and didn't even think about it. Um, kind of going along with water. Some type of hydration packets. I prefer the Pedialyte packets. I think these are so much better than all the other ones out there. Not only in taste, but I feel like they just work better. Maybe that's just because they taste better. And uh, that's my taste buds telling me they're better i don't know but anyways that's how i feel i've always rocked those things uh i love them yeah um going also along with water is going to be a way to filter more J again just in case what if you get stranded out there and all you've got is your salt pack you need to have something out there um anyways let's not get too off topic so we covered water we covered food what else do we get? Well, if we're going on some type of assault, some type of quick mission, we need a resupply of assaulting equipment. Here I have three quarters of a combat load. So this is five magazines. All right. Um, if a combat load is seven, I would suggest bringing a minimum of five magazines. Uh, three magazines is not a combat load. Okay, that's you're not doing anything but breaking contact if you're fucking lucky with three magazines. Uh, yeah, so you need to have some type of combat sustainment. Um, you know, smoke grenades, whatever. I mean, a flashbang's really going to do you anything out here in the fucking woods. 
Probably not. Um, real grenades. Do you have real grenades? I don't. Um, maybe you do. Who knows? Anyways, uh, continuing on. Some other stuff. Um, here I just have a razor, geez, razor range finder. A laser range finder. This is just some type of good equipment to have. Um, I love having a razor. I cannot talk to you. I must be having a stroke. This might be the last video you see me. A laser range finder on me. Uh, this is just a cheap one. I got off tax swap from some dude. I think I paid like a hundred some odd bucks for it. If you've noticed, I don't buy much new shit. I can save money buying used stuff. But yeah, it's one of the 1500 ones. Um, the furthest I push it out is a little over 600, which is great for me. But yeah, just some mission essential gear. Whatever your mission is, are you going to even have time to decide what's mission essential, what's not? Probably not, but nonetheless, some more mission essential gear. That's mission essential to me. Being able to uh, identify range with some type of technology. They have the range R cards out there and stuff like that. I'm a little skeptical of those because here's my uh, issue. It's my same issue with optics like I have on my rifle, like LPVOs that are uh, for a certain height man. Well, I'm 6'3", okay? Me compared to a green silhouette, I don't look nothing like that. So I'm going to look like a, a freaking green silhouette at 200 meters when really I'm 400 meters away. So those range R cards are set for a certain height human being. Okay. Are they great? Yeah, they don't take fucking batteries. So, I mean, I'm still going to buy one. But at the end of the day, they're not 100% accurate. I still prefer to have a um, digital uh, range finder if I can. Um, so, so some sustainment items, survival items I should say. A little yank of paracord. Never hurts to have. Uh, here I have a Mora knife with some more paracord and a uh, steel rod put into the uh, case. I'll come up here. I might be a little too far away, but oh well. We'll zoom in. We'll zoom in if we need to. But yeah. I just have that in there. Just Hopefully I don't catch the hay on fire, but oh well, fuck it. It's my hay. I can do what I want. Right, nerds? Right. Well, now, let's see if I can get it back down in there. Bastards. There we go. All right, we're cooking with gas now. We're cooking with gas. All right. Um, some, some other sustainment stuff I have in here. As far as survival type stuff. I know, survival, right? Duct tape. Uh, electrical tape, I know. Um, I usually keep a roll of duct tape on me. But right now, I don't have it. So, yeah, electrical tape. All right, now we're going to get into... Water, I kind of already covered it, but you need a way to filter it. Uh, here is just one of the Sawyer squeeze with the bag, the plunger, all that stuff. I just keep it. This is something you're going to see a lot in my kits is everything's waterproof. And I also keep a liquid IV in here. Um, these ones are getting a little hard because, again, I don't prefer liquid IV, but nonetheless, I got them in here. Water, a way to filter it. Um, yeah, because you don't know if you're going to be out there for just 24 hours. So something to consider. Do you need to bring all this? No, you could just bring the actual Sawyer. You don't necessarily need to bring the squeeze baths. Um, you can put it in line with the Camelback. That's an option you have. But yeah. Um, keep going on with the sustainment first. Spare batteries for all your shit. So on my kit, I would have double A's, triple A's, CR123s, and depending on if I have a thermal, an 18650. Um, yeah, nods take double A's. I'm trying to think what else. That might be it for the double A's. Um, GPS takes triple A's. Headlamp takes triple A's. That might be it for the triple A's. Obviously, the PEC-15 takes CR123s, and then a thermal, the RX-25, takes 18650s. So that's just kind of the fucking luck of the draw, I guess, on that. So yeah, definitely need to have spare batteries for your shit. Along with that, um, if you have electronics, not a bad idea to have, you know, some type of power bank. This one, it's, you know, these things are always off. They'll say you can get six charges on your phone. You can probably get three if you're fucking lucky. But yeah, something like that. Uh, some way to charge your gear if you need it. Uh, the next one, this is a big one. Hygiene shit. So in here, I just got a thing of baby wipes, uh, toilet paper, whatever. Prefer baby wipes because you can wipe yourself down if you need to. Um, in a ruck, I would rather have a washcloth and maybe a tiny little half bar of soap or something. Uh, what else do I have in here? Toothbrush and toothpaste. Chapstick. That's a big one. People always get chapstick. 
especially if you're in somewhere where you get crazy wind like out west like colorado and stuff when i was out in colorado i used to get chapped lips like crazy uh, also i just got some medicine is in here just you never know i just i always keep medicine with my hygiene kit uh kind of doubles as a boo-boo kit so yeah there's that um what else what else what else we got so just some stuff that's good to have uh that takes up very little space uh extra ear protection a spoon you never know you're gonna need that for some reason i just have one of the six inch chem lights uh this is actually green thought it was ir but i guess i didn't read very good and then a stripper clip uh, my ammo will be in mags but i don't know i just can never throw away stripper clips so yeah I think that covers these two outside pockets. Um, so let's kind of go over what else we got in here. So this is stupidly big. I have smaller ones, but just as a demonstration, a rifle cleaning kit. Um, I prefer one with rods um, because what if you get a stuck casing and it's real fucking in there? You can't get in there with a Gerber. A rod's your best way to go for a stuck casing. No matter what, a rod's your best way to go. So I prefer... Some type of cleaning kit with a rod. You don't always have to bring one. I mean, is there other ways to get it out? I'm sure. But that's the best way. Like, by far, that's the best way is just having a rod. Uh, so, clothing. What do I take for clothing in an assault pack? Not much. Um, if I get soaking wet, um, I'll be fine. It's 24 hours. Hopefully. I don't even need to sleep for 24 hours. But nonetheless, here's what I got. So I always bring a pair of socks, a neck gaiter, and a beanie. So that's the clothing that I bring. Again, as you saw, it's in a Ziploc bag. It's waterproof. Waterproof your shit. Because if you are soaking wet, and maybe you do got to fucking hunker down for whatever LARPing reason you can think of, you're using your shelter, and you want to change your socks, and you reach in your bag that's soaking wet because you fell in a fucking puddle, and your socks are soaking wet, you're going to be miserable. Believe it or not, it is a morale boost. Put it on some warm clothes. It is. Uh, along with that, I have a couple different options here. A um, couple different price points, too. So this is a dirt cheap waterproof jacket that I got from Royal King, I believe. It was on sale. It's made by Columbia. Um, it works. I think I got this thing. I mean, it was on sale, so I got it pretty damn cheap. I'm not going to give you the price because I don't remember. It was like a year and a half ago. Um, it's not that durable. I've ripped it a little bit on briars and stuff, but it works. Uh, some other options, more heavy duty stuff. Maybe you're going, you know, out in the winter or something. This is, I don't know, let me get the name right. Cause all the surplus dudes will want to know the correct name. Parka cold weather camouflage. It's also wet weather, but yeah, these things are good. Another eBay find there. So yeah, that's uh, what I got for clothing, I believe. Now, let's talk about the last piece. Shelter. Well, I see you have a couple options for shelter. Um, as you can see here, I have a tarp. It's ACU, I know, disgusting. Lashed onto the outside. You can also lash this on the bottom of a salt pack, fairly or a butt pack, fairly easy. So a tarp. Um, my preferred method uh, is a, anyways, a bivy sack and a sleeping bag liner, okay? Look outside of the Prepper and Minuteman community for shit. Go look at backpacking channels and stuff. These sleeping bags liners are money, and look how small it is. I mean, so yeah, that's my kind of preferred method is a bivy sack and a sleeping bag liner. Um, it's going to take up little room. Do you even need to be the, um, bring this? No, not really. I mean, but I would rather be a little bit more prepared than not. Um, a poncho. Shit, I'm not going anywhere without a fucking poncho. Or one of these. But yeah. So there you have it. I mean, that's not too awful much. Uh, it's not, it doesn't weigh that much. So I would say, in summary... An assault pack should, at a bare minimum, contain water, food, um, fighting sustainment load, whatever that may be, to include ammo, um, 
any type of demolitions you might need if you have that type of shit, which you probably don't. And then uh, batteries. That's all within the finance statement. Anything after that is just extra. So whether that's, well, hygiene, I think you need hygiene shit. That's my personal opinion. But as far as like, uh, you know, the, the freaking, the freaking beanie, the freaking wet weather gear, the tarp. Do you need all that shit for 24 hours? No, you don't. You don't need it. You can be a little miserable and you'll be okay. Being miserable is not going to kill you. Is it fun to not be miserable? Sure. But you know what else is also fun? Not carrying around a 25 pound assault pack when you could be carrying around a 15 pound assault pack. Something to think about. Do you need all this shit? Absolutely not. If I was to go out, mine would look like, obviously, the Camelback, the first strike ration, the seven rounds of ammunition, the batteries, the hygiene kit, and then I'm going to have the tarp, and then I'm going to have the uh, socks, beanie, and neck gaiter. That's all I'm going to bring. Maybe the wet weather jacket, the light one, because it's super compactable, but that's all I'm going to bring. Um, some other things to consider before I end this video and stop rambling. One last thing, very important. So, how you aim your weapon with nothing on is going to be different. It is going to fit in your, po it's going to fit in different pockets, different places with an assault pack on. Um, imagine having a plate carrier on under this, you know. So just things to think about. Is that the most important thing? Absolutely not. But you definitely should be training with your stuff um, with assault packs. That just fell off, so that's fucking great. I didn't have it on there too good. But yeah, I think that about sums up the video. Assault packs are important. I think rucks are more important. But anyways, that's how I would do an assault pack for a guerrilla fighter. All right, guys, if you made it to the end, leave me a comment that you made it to the end. I want to know how many people are watching this video all the way to the full. Um, what other type of stuff would you guys like to see? I am strongly debating on doing some content on showing different tactics and stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff I see out there is drawn on a whiteboard or terrible, terrible early GWAT United States animations. That's just garbage. I think we can do better. I think I can do better um, simply by using something called Arma. If you don't know what that is, you're not nerdy enough. Okay, You don't like military history enough. But yeah. Something I'm considering doing. If you would like that, um, leave it down in the comment section. Yeah, as always, I'm just a retard like most of you. Um, take this for what it's worth. Uh, it should be no mean taken as doctrine or religious gospel. It is just how I do things, and I put it out there in the ether for you guys. All right, until next time, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, like, share, and subscribe.